I low-key forgot how to do this. Can someone explain the steps? Well, since I'm the one who posted that question on my Instagram, so let me explain the steps. We have square root of 16 to the 16th power. This is equal to which of the following? Is it A? A to the 16th power or B? A to the 8th power or C? 4 to the 16th power or maybe D? 16 to the 4th power. What do you think? Go ahead and pause the video and put your answer in the comment section down below first before you watch the solution. Done? All right. Let me show you guys the easiest solution for this. So here's the deal. So let me write down a note for you guys. Whenever we are taking the square root of a power, let's say some base b raised to some power m, this right here is the same as taking the square root to the base first and then putting the power on the outside like this. So applying this right here to the equation, we have square root of 16 for the base and the 16 for the power. We can look at this as taking the square root of 16, right? That's the red number base, yeah? Do that first and then put the power 16 on the outside, the one in black, like this. Okay, square root of 16 is equal to 4 and just a positive 4. So we have 4. And then raise that to the 16th power. Yeah, guess what? We are done. Because the answer is right here. That's answer choice C. And as I said, we are done. But there are a lot of things I can say about this question. Let me also show you guys what not to do first. So don't do these things. All right? When we see square root of 16 to the 16th power, maybe you think that we can take the square root for the base and also for the power, and we end up with 4 to the 4th power. Let me tell you this is incorrect. No. Or maybe some people will say square root of 16 to the 16th power. Just go ahead and keep the base 16, but take the square root to the power 16 and then end up 16 to the fourth power. Let me tell you, this is also not correct. Let me write down another note for you guys right here. So if we have square root of b to the m, this right here is actually the same as b raised to the m and the square root will make the m divided by 2 in the exponent. And here we have a fraction in the exponent. I know it's pretty scary, and I will talk more about this later on in another video. For now, let's just use this. So if we have square root of 16 to the 16th power, this will be equal to the base 16 stays the same, but the power 16 right here, we will have to divide this by 2 because of the square root. And then 16 divided by 2, that's just equal to 8. So here we have 16 raised to the 8th power. So in fact, this is also correct, but it's just not one of the answer choices here. So you don't select that, of course. <laughs> and in fact, if you look at radical as a rational exponent, you can see how the rule of exponents work. Here, let me show you. This right here can be looked at it as 16. And 16 over 2, we can look at it as 1 half, right? 1 half first. And then raised that to the 16th power. Because half times 16 is 16 over 2. So we can look at it like that, thanks to the rule of exponents. And the half power means we take the square root so you can see that we also end up with 4 inside and then 16 on the outside. Yeah? So just like that. So these two answers are equivalent. Okay. 